Look out there. Out there is the perfect lap. You see it? I think so. Most people can't. Carol Shelby. Maybe. The Iacocca, Ford Motor. Suppose Henry Ford II wanted to build the greatest race car the world's ever seen to win the 24 hours of Le Mans. What's it take? Well, it takes something money can't buy. Money can buy speed. What well, in about speed? You need a pure racer behind the wheel of your car. That's Ken Miles. I don't trust him an inch. We heard he's difficult. No, no, Ken's a puppy dog. No. Whatever it is, Shell, no. Trust me. You're gonna build a car to beat Ferrari with a Ford. Correct. And how long did you tell them that you needed? Two, three hundred years? 90 days. <laughs> This isn't the first time Ford Motors has gone to war. We know how to do more than push paper. Go ahead, Carol. Go to war. Thank you, sir. Do you think you can beat Ferrari? Not control. We're lighter, we're faster. That don't work, we're nastier. We're gonna make history. You ready? I was born ready, Mr. Shelby. Hit it. I do what I do because of my dad. He was a hero. He gave his life for the pursuit of knowledge. Control, you're getting that over. Crazy out there. There's fires everywhere and plane crashes. They're calling it the search. Major, we have some highly classified information. What can you tell us about the Lima project? Its objective was to search for advanced extraterrestrial life. The ship disappeared approximately 16 years into the mission. And the commander was? He was my father, sir. This might come as quite a shock to you. Your father was experimenting with a highly classified material that could threaten our entire solar system. All life would be destroyed. We're counting on you to find out what's happening out there. I worry about you. I love you. Please begin your psychological evaluation. As best you can, please describe your current mental and emotional state. I'm feeling good. Ready to do my job to the best of my abilities. I remain fully committed to the lawful completion of the mission. If necessary, I will destroy the project in its entirety. The Earth puts hopes in him. And now, it's fate. It's on me. We have a job to do. Are you ready? I'm ready. I almost forgot to show you guys what I found this morning. That's a shark tooth. Uh-huh. I 
am going to take you to a place that no tourist would ever find in a million years. Chance of a lifetime. human sacrifices here. Stop! There's something there! Some people believe if we repeat stories often enough, they become real. They make us who we are. That can be scary. Eat it, Harold. Do you want to see Haunted House? Some kids went missing, so they boarded it up. Okay, we saw it. Should we go now? Who ordered the chicken? What's that? It's a book of scary stories. Tell me a story. What's going on? Tommy's missing. Tommy's name was in the book. There's no way it's actually connected, right? Okay, what if what happens in the book is exactly what's happened for real? Oh my god. Andy! Stella! Listen, you're in the next story. We're reading it right here. It's a corpse looking for her missing toe. I'm afraid that we woke something up. You shouldn't have taken the book. We've got to stop it. Sarah Bellows' book, where the stories write themselves and it all comes alive. The Jangling Man is coming. 